Hi, and welcome to our Core Concepts of Skype for Business Server 2015 course. My name is Brian Nice. I am an architect in our Enterprise Communications Global Practice here at Microsoft. I want to take this moment to introduce you to Module 11, which is our Skype for Business Server 2015 Disaster Recovery Module. Now, unlike high availability, which happens automatically, we want to look at our disaster recovery aspects in this module. We'll talk a little bit about how that process works from a lifecycle perspective within Skype for Business Server, and then talk about the underlying technical pieces that are required to make this work. For example, utilizing a mechanism we call pool pairing. Uh, We'll also talk about some of the supporting cast members that are involved with regards to disaster recovery, such as uh, GeoDNS um, and various uh, load balancing mechanisms that are involved as part of the disaster recovery process. Lastly, we also want to take a look at the backup and restore procedures so that we can understand how to properly recover from a disaster uh, at any given point in our Skype for Business deployment. So as we finish this module, we want to understand not only the life cycle aspects of disaster recovery, but understand the various technical pieces that are involved in a Skype for Business Server deployment to support our disaster recovery methodology.